Hi, guys, again. Here comes now the part 4 of our Mochi Mochi series. If you haven't watched the previous parts yet, you can check the link in the video description. So guys, for today, we will do the Rainfall Mochi command. Let's proceed to the description of this ability in a second. This ability is my second favorite in the series. Anyway, to activate the rainfall mochi, you need to throw a snowball to your target. It's not important that you hit directly your target, as long as the target is near the snowball, this ability will be activated. And when it gets activated, three mochi pillars will rise behind you, and after a few moments, the mochi will redirect to your target. When the mochi has reached your target, it will deal 50 damage to the target and entities that is quite close to it. After a brief moment, also when the rainfall mochi successfully hit the target, the mochi will start to break down. And when the mochi is already gone, you can now cast again the ability. Oh, by the way, the snowball that you need to throw must be from your fourth slot. So anyway, we can now proceed to the commands. Let's start by putting a target tag to an entity. Using this, you can add target tag to an entity by throwing a snowball with data value of 4 to them. After that, we will be using an armor stand as baseline for our mochi. This armor stand will only be spawned when we are able to tag an entity. Now for testing, let's get our temporary snowball. There it is. Next, and another armor stand. One more. Let's add now a sound effect. This sound will be played when we are successfully tagged an entity. Yep, that's the sound. Now, to make the armor stands move upward.
fly high armor stance. Now, we need to direct the armor stance to the target's location. Let's start by detecting if there are an existing rainfall mochi armor stance. Next, we will add a specific tag to the Rainfall Mochi Armor Stance. The next command is the reason why we need this tag. And this next command will be to redirect the Armor Stance to the target's location. Once the armor stands has been tagged redirect, they will start moving towards the target. Let me use Shulker as a target, since they don't move, so it is easy to hit them. Great! Now, let's make the Rainfall Mochi Armor Stands deal damage now. Entities within 2 radius from the Rainfall Mochi Armor Stands will receive 50 damage. Now, it add an on-hit sound effect. This sound will be played when the Rainfall Mochi successfully reached the target. Cool! Next, to kill the Rainfall, Mochi armor stands once their job is done. Once the Rainfall Mochi reached the target, and dealt damage to them, but the target doesn't die yet, the armor stands will be killed, so that you can cast again the ability. Next, we need the Rainfall Mochi armor stands to summon Mochi armor stands. This, Mochi Armor Stand will be used to place and remove the Mochi Block. Next, we need to make sure that the Mochi Armor Stands will keep in place. That will be the skeleton of our mochi. Anyway, next we will now make the mochi armor stands place a snow block.
But before we test it, let's put a command to destroy the snow blocks that the mochi created. One second after the rainfall, Mochi armor stands has been removed, the snow block will now be destroyed. Next, the Mochi armor stands will also be removed. And then the target tag will be removed also. Now, after all of that, we should get back our snowball now. Oops, I miss. Another miss. Since we don't have a command yet to remove the rainfall, Mochi armor stands when the target got killed. This is the result for now. And this next command will be the answer for that. When there's no target anymore, the rainfall mochi armor stands will be removed. It is now almost complete. The next command is important if you're not good at aiming with me. This command will check if we have already thrown a snowball, and there is no target yet. Now to refill our snowball on fourth slot. Now, we get our snowball back when we wasn't able to find a target. Finally, for the finishing touch, let's turn. The armor stands invisible. Perfect, we're done now. Time to see the result.
Alright, we can see that it's working perfectly now. So, guys, this is all for now. Tomorrow will be the last part of our Mochi Mochi series. And it will gonna be the Mochi Animon. It is an OP ability that can crush any mobs that you target. Well, we'll see the details of that tomorrow. Bye for now guys. <laughs>